Well, they're excited. Give it up for New York Times bestselling author of the book. A big reader uh, and I know that you are trying to encourage people to read a little bit more so I could talk about books all day all night but let's start with what the problem is here when it comes yeah. to books well the problem is uh, most people want to read more books right mm -hmm. for a couple years ago I read five books a year if I was lucky and it was like grab one at the airport before a long flight you know it's just like hard to find the time mm -hmm. that's the thing people say but last year I read 50 books. I read 10 times the number of books. Wow. And it's turned me into, I feel, a, you know, a better husband, a better dad, a better writer, a better speaker. And everything yeah. in my life has gotten better. So I talk to people and they say, I can't find a good book to, book to read. I picked the one at yeah. the top of the bestseller list or the one at the front of the bookstore. It's hard. And the reason it's so hard is because 500,000 books are published a year which means mm. over a thousand books are published today. The average person's got no hope in finding a good book that will actually change their life. Okay, so we need help just narrowing down all those titles so that we can jump into it. And we also need to kind of find the time to jump into it. And it's important for a really big reason. 2011 uh, Psychological Science Magazine said mm -hmm. that when you are reading, the mirror neurons in your brain are firing. Mm -hmm. So if you are the boy in the boat or you're talking to God with Margaret on the bed, you feel mm -hmm. like you're there. And what happens is when they measure it, your empathy, your compassion, all these emotional, intelligent kind of characteristics, yeah. they go up. You turn okay. into a better version of yourself because you live different lives. I can't even quote a Game of Thrones quote that says, a reader lives a thousand lives before they die. Mm -hmm. A man who doesn't read <laughs> lives only one. So okay. how do you find those thousand books yeah. to actually shape your life? Mm -hmm. I've decided to ask 333 of the most inspiring people in the world. Yes. I was in Detroit yesterday, uh, interviewed Mitch Album. Nice. I flew down to Key West, interviewed Judy Bloom. Uh, I interviewed Chris Anderson, who runs TED. I'm asking them, what were the three books that changed your life? And Tracy, nice. I'd love to have you on the show. Oh, I can, yeah, it's be, hard to narrow it down to three. It's always hard, but these are the books that actually shape people that are inspiring. So then we listen to those books, mm -hmm. we pick up those books and we've got a curation mechanism that helps us find the next book that helps us. Okay. Right? So it's it's really, really a valuable way to do it because otherwise you're like, you go on the Amazon recommendation engine and I don't know if it's me, but it recommends the same 25 best sellers over and over again. That's true. It's like the yeah. same, and then there's ads and sponsors. You can't really figure out what to read. Yes. So you go by word of mouth. Yeah. You go by what someone just tells you or hands you. I want a better way to find a book that will actually be like, you know what, I'm going through a divorce and I'm really having trouble with this one aspect of it, yeah. so this specific book helps me. Yeah. Okay, or I'm really struggling with some elements of uh, beauty, what I look like. I'm really wrestling through that. So, Autobiography of a Face by Lucy Greeley is mm -hmm. about a woman who had jaw surgery and wrote a memoir about it. It's a breathtaking book you would never have found right. if I hadn't interviewed someone to figure out how do we find those books. So, Three Books okay. is a podcast to help you find, actually find, the next book that will change your life. And this is a total labor of love. You're just doing this because you love to do yeah. it and uh, <laughs> you want to help us out and you like to read. Uh, yeah, it's a total labor of love. I've got like yeah. no ads. No sponsor. I'm literally just flying around interviewing my superstars, yeah, like my, my yeah. heroes, asking them what books they love because I love books so much and I'm finding yeah. that it's really helping me. Right. It's really helping me because when you're reading a book, Tracy, uh, I will not be insulting television on a TV show, yeah. but you are the director. You're right. envisioning the characters, you are picturing the rooms, you are hearing the voices. Mm -hmm. So you have a much more active role. And in an era where all we're doing is dinging and pinging and looking at screens and in our pockets, it's Time for a single task yes. to focus our brains and help lose ourselves in another life that can teach us more about ourselves. Well, you're preaching to the converted, my friend. Yes, I, I know. like hear, hear, amen, <laughs> hallelujah. I think books are life. So thank you so much for making that a little bit easier for us.